Hi everyone! Welcome to Small Bites, short videos by the Eiffel Public Library Innovation Program, with tips for librarians who are training people in their communities. Our today's topic is outcomes of library programs and services. My name is Ugneli Pekaite, and I am the Impact Manager at Eiffel Plip. From warrior's trainings of librarians, I know that outcomes can be hard to understand. So let's look at them together. Libraries have always been good at collecting data about their collections, book loans and visits. However, with technology availability in libraries, they have started providing many new services and programs, such as training to seek for jobs online, facilitation of e-learning courses, helping to use e-government services and so on. And these statistics are no longer enough to demonstrate library's value. At the same time, library authorities and the public want to know if it's worth equipping libraries with computers and the internet, that is, the outcomes of their investment. This is quite new thing in library work, and library staff might not know what outcomes are and how we can measure them. So what are outcomes? An outcome is a specific benefit from a library program or service. It is not about what library has done, but about the changes it made in knowledge, skills, attitudes and behavior of service users. It shows to what extent library services have kept people to do better at school, in the work and social life. Outcomes are generally expressed as changes individuals perceive in themselves, for example, as a result of library's event, I'm more aware of climate change. Or, after taking a mobile literacy training at local library, I have better skills to use my smartphone. In a long run, outcomes turn into broader social and economic benefits for society, called impact. Outcomes are often confused with outputs, so let's see how these two differ from each other. Outputs are direct products of library activities, usually measured in quantity of work accomplished. They usually respond to such questions as how many. For example, how many people registered for or completed the training at the library? Or how many training events did library organize? You will often find outputs in library statistics. As you already know, Outcomes are benefits or changes for individuals and populations during or after participation in library activities. They demonstrate what did change in person's life as a result of using particular service or program. Now let's see a real-life example. A few years ago, Eiffel Plip supported a project in Choma Provincial Library in Zambia, where librarians were concerned that young artists Singers, musicians, poets did not have facilities to work together on creative projects. They allocated space in the library for young creatives and equipped it with recorders, cameras, computers with useful editing and other software. They hosted events for young creatives to get together and share ideas and projects. They also organized training in business innovation and marketing so that young creatives could generate income from their art. As a result of this project, 80 young creatives went through Chalmers Provincial Library Training Program. In just one year, they used library space and equipment 348 times. These are the outputs of this project. Library have captured outputs from library registration lists and participation lists in the training. Now the outcomes of this project were improved skills of young creatives and enhanced abilities to market their talents and the work. Post-training survey conducted by library staff showed that participant skills in various areas have doubled or even tripled. At the same time, many have managed to increase their productivity and income by writing and recording songs, hosting a radio show, or taking photos in weddings or birthday parties. To finish this lesson, I would like to give you a quick look into ways of measuring outcomes. One of the most popular ways are immediate feedback surveys, which can be deployed right at the end of a particular program. 
You can ask participants to share how they have benefited. For example, did they learn something new? Did they get new ideas or met and connected with new people? Several weeks or even months later, you can do a follow-up survey with SIM participants to determine what other benefits they obtained in long term. For example, did new knowledge or new connections they have obtained at the library somehow change their daily routine or attitudes? Surveys are not the only way to measure outcomes, so you can simply speak to people and capture their testimonials that describe benefits of the service or program. Using testimonials, you can create a story that is easily understood by the public and of on what library did and how that made difference in person's life. I hope this video will encourage you to go beyond the basic statistics. When you have collected information about outcomes of library work, don't forget to use the data. It's a great tool to show your library value to library authority, supporters, and general public. Data can be very handy in advocacy or better support to your library. Share data and stories with local media, include them into your regular reports to library authority, put them on the table when you meet your potential partners or funders. Thank you for watching and visit our YouTube channel to find more videos in the Eiffel Clip Small Bite series. Bye-bye!